Many 3D spectra are based upon a 2D spectrum, and it is easiest to understand how 3D spectra are visualised by using one of these as an example. So we might start with a 2D 1H 15N HSQC spectrum. In an experiment such as an HNCO, you would now add a third dimension, which is a carbon dimension. You can then imagine each HSQC peak being lifted up into the third dimension by the amount of the carbon chemical shift. What you then end up with is essentially lots of blobs or 3D peaks floating in a 3D cube. Now that is not a very useful way of looking at a 3D spectrum, so instead we look at individual planes out of that cube. In each plane you will see a different peak. The way I have shown it here, we would have protons, or 1h, along the x-axis, carbon along the y-axis, and our planes are taken from different points along the nitrogen z-axis. But of course you can also imagine looking at planes another way up. This time you would have protons along the x-axis again, but nitrogen would be along the y-axis and carbon would be along the z-axis. So your planes would be taken at different carbon positions. Now if you look at each of these planes, they potentially have lots of empty space in them if they only contain one peak, say. So a lot of the time we don't bother looking at the whole plane, but just a thin strip either side of the peak of interest. And if you take several such strips, you can essentially extract them out of the 3D cube and lay them next to one another. Note that while these strips share the carbon 13 y-axis, each strip has its own unique 1h and 15n position along the x and z-axes. So what does all this look like in analysis? Here I have a project containing a 3D HNCO spectrum and a 2D HSQC. If I drag the HNCO into the drop area, I get a spectrum display showing my 3D spectrum with protons on the x-axis, carbon on the y-axis, and nitrogen along the z-axis. You can see here the position I am at along the z-axis, and with these arrows I can navigate through the planes. Alternatively, I can just type in a particular ppm value to which I would like to navigate. Here on the right you can see the plane count, so at the moment by default I always see one plane at a time, but in some instances it could be useful to view several planes at a time. Now at the moment I'm looking at the spectrum as I said with carbon along y and nitrogen along z. If I'd like to look at the planes the other way around I can just swap the y and z axes with y z. In this window I can now see the spectrum the other way around. Of course with protons along x and nitrogen along y I can also overlay this with my HSQC spectrum. Now I can look at both of these spectra together and see how well they overlay. For more information on flipping spectra and setting your preferred axis order for a spectrum have a look at our flipping spectra video tutorial. You can add strips to one of these displays simply by pressing on the plus button up here in the toolbar and this will add strips to the display. You can see here that the proton and nitrogen dimensions each have the capacity to have their own values. For more information on how to use strips within analysis have a look at our working with strips video tutorial.